I'm heartened to see the construction industry as well as manufacturers and suppliers of raw materials like YTL responding to the country's ambitious target to reducing uh, greenhouse emissions. This forum is therefore an important opportunity for all, all everyone in the industry to share knowledge, ideas and best practices as we embark on the important journey of achieving a high benchmark for sustainable construction. Despite a two-year contraction caused by the recent pandemic, we are encouraged by the gradual recovery of this very important industry and the resilience that we are now witnessing. The time of change and moving forward is also a time of possibilities, and we find ourselves at a crucial juncture. As our industry continues to expand and recover, it is imperative that the choice that we make reflects our ideas of progress and prioritise sustainability as a pertinent goal. In Malaysia, we have recognised the urgency and significance of sustainable construction. We understand that it is not merely a trend or a buzzword, but an absolute necessity. Our construction industry, responsible for shaping the built environment upon which we depend, plays a critical role in this movement. Now the clock is ticking. There's only one solution. Ask anyone, there's only one solution to the energy problem or the energy crisis and that is the N-word, nuclear. With that AI IoT enabled factory, we are able to control our wastage. Construction wastage for our project has reduced from 5 to 8% to less than 1% today. When we first design it, we already know how much concrete we need, how much steel bar we need, the robot will cut accordingly. We have actually, among all the things that we have, we have things that we can actually preserve and actually then reuse and rework. So preservation and repurposing of these spaces is something that we actually do. And this is an example in one of our projects in Serenia City. Uh, the trees are 120 years old and still standing today. You said something that's very interesting about greenwashing. And uh, you appear to be like, like what uh, Adrian has said, you know, very agey about it. Maybe you want to share with us a little bit more. What do you mean by green a uh, washing and, you know, how... Uh, is this impacting on our green journey? And we have been approached by some of the big audit firms to certify all the public listed companies that needs to comply with ESGs. And they can choose whichever rating they want from overseas just to make sure they get the score points. And then comes the whole question, where is the credibility? When you're looking for a lower carbon product, it's always better to buy directly from manufacturers because manufacturers, they have to abide by certain uh, standards. You already have the quality assurance there. Bamboo, yeah, it is a young material. I can see this escalation of bamboo buildings, bamboo people being involved, um, client inquiries of, hey, you know, we have our steel buildings, there's no steel because of COVID. Can we build bamboo that's around the backyard? Yeah. 